Welcome to F5 in Ansible Lessons, Create and Configuring an iRule. Using Ansible Automation Platform, we will have a pre-created inventory credentials and we'll be exposing paths to our iRules. We'll be also be connecting to GitHub for our repositories using a requirements file to pull down the F5 Network Galaxy collections and then executing the code to replace the SSL certificates. So we'll first log into the Ansible Automation Platform then go over into our settings, job settings, and take a look at the exposed paths for the isolated jobs. Next, we'll go into our projects section where our GitHub repository is already pre-configured. Then we're gonna head over to inventories and check out our big IP inventory for our demonstration. Notice there are two groups, load balancers and web servers. And then in each, group there are two subsequent hosts one contains for the web servers which are docker hosts and the other for the big ips now going into the templates in the 1.3 configure i rule you'll see that we have the default execution environment project and inventory previously created we also have extra variables including the i rule located in the exposed paths folder that we defined earlier while we wait for the code to start up what we'll notice is that as part of the code, it will go and find whichever of the two big IPs is the active machine. They're set up in an active standby pair. When it tries to execute that code, it is only going to execute the code on the active machine. So that way, when they synchronize across each other, then the two big IPs will have the same data, but only the active machine will be the one that's configured. Next, we'll go over to the big IP admin page. We'll log in, and then we'll go into our local traffic, iRules, and expand out our pages so that we can see all the iRules. You'll see that there are two new iRules there, iRule 1, iRule 2. If we go over to the virtual servers, we can go into our VIP and see that the iRules are attached using the Resources tab. All of this done within seconds with Ansible Automation. Feel free to use or fork our own Git repository code located in the link below and watch our other videos for more F5 and Ansible lessons.